and welcome to What's Next. My name is Jochen Kutsia and we are talking all things Tourism Expo. It's a very exciting time now because um, tourism is picking up and uh, we want to make sure that you, as local travelers, get to experience the beautiful destinations we have here in Namibia. Uh, we've also instituted the voucher competition for the second year in a row where we're going to give away 250,000 Namibian dollars worth of vouchers for accommodation and activities at participating establishments. To tell us a bit more, here's Marika Muller. Awesome. So now we're chatting to Marika Miller, Synergy Marketing's Manager for Key uh, Client Relations. Uh, Marika, how are you doing today? Hi, Yohe. I'm good. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, Marika, we're here to ex uh, discuss something very exciting. You know, this year, uh, again, NMH has partnered with two of Namibia's biggest uh, corporates, NBL and FNB, to uh, promote regional tourism. Can you tell us about the voucher system and how uh, the public can take part in this exciting competition? Sure. So the public has um, the opportunity to win a $1,000 voucher if they um, are interested in going to the Tourism Expo this year. Um, these vouchers were initiated um, through the idea that we just want to really give something back to the tourism industry. Um, you know, we've been through a tough time yeah. the previous years and uh, also to give to, to lure the, the customers to the Tourism Expo by giving them the opportunity, something special. Yeah. Yes. So uh, the voucher system, how it works is you can actually take part in a competition. Um, you can you stand a chance to win this thousand dollar voucher. Um, when you go to the Expo, you will get your your thousand dollar voucher there okay. um, and you can go to to any one of the establishments on the expo and redeem your voucher. Very cool. um, this give you, gives you a chance to um, for the three days that the, the, of the duration of the expo. Um, you cannot use the voucher, unfortunately, after the expo, you have to redeem it there. Yeah, so all of these um, establishments, they will have something special on offer. Mm -hmm. um, so, so you can go there and, um, and take part in their special offerings. And this will be like booking maybe at a lodge um, accommodation, or they might have an interesting activity that they have on offer. Um, yeah, so it's really very exciting. Absolutely, and I think it's a very tangible intervention and uh, kudos to all the stakeholders because, I mean, we know tourism has been going through a very difficult time and uh, also Namibians and um, just local travelers or travelers from abroad who are exploring and taking in Namibia um, really have been going through a difficult time. So, I mean, $250,000 worth of vouchers so that you and your family can go out and experience this wonderful country, really, really commendable. So, Marika, um, how do we take part? You, you literally, um, you check out the newspapers, uh, the three publications that we have, the Republican, the Namibian Sun and the Allgemeine Zeitung. Um, you look out for the, for the Expo Survey um, competition. It's really very easy. It's got a QR code. Okay. You scan it with your cell phone um, and you answer like the three or four questions um, that we ask there mm -hmm. um, and you, you have entered. You will get a return message on your cell phone to tell you that you are done mm -hmm. and, and there, from there 
where on you will get the communication on your cell phone number yeah. and as I said if you go to the expo you will receive your, your actual voucher there. Boom! Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt and Namibia is your destination. Yeah. So um, Rika, also I think it's very important to state that um, all of the winners of the vouchers must redeem their uh, vouchers at the Tourism Expo from the 3rd to the 5th of November. Uh, you can't redeem it afterwards and uh, yeah, make sure that you come through. I think you'll also be getting free entrance. Uh, yes. yes, you'll be getting an e-ticket that will allow you easier access to the expo and yeah, bring your family, bring the friends because it's going to be an exciting event. Yes, yeah. so actually I can just mention something more. Um, so when you go to this specific establishment with, with your voucher, um, you, you will choose whatever you want to book. Mm -hmm. um, they will quote you and then you will actually pay that okay. to them, but we will refund you immediately mm -hmm. um, through e-wallet. Boom. So Marika. it's really very easy. Absolutely. Marika, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, break down the uh, voucher competition. And thank you to our stakeholders, NBL and FNB, for uh, helping us make this a reality. So please do take part and uh, yeah, we'll see you at the expo. Thank you so much, Marika, and uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to check out NMH's print and digital platforms to get more information and to take the survey because you do not want to miss out on this competition. Okay, to give you an idea of some of the places you can visit, let's talk to some of the establishments. Now we are all very excited about the upcoming Tourism Expo that will be taking place in November. We will be showcasing all our exhibitors so our viewers know exactly what to expect at the Tourism Expo. With us in studio is Jess Becker, Group Brand Marketing Manager at Gondona. Thank you very much for joining us, Jess. Thank you for having me. Now before we start, I have to ask this question. Did you guys find Mickey back in 2017? find Mickey. Yeah, the cat. The con oh, yes, we did. We oh. did. Sorry, it took me a moment there. <laughs> we did. No. no Where she, was she? She was actually in one of the storage rooms. She snuck in there while oh they were my. carrying things out uh -huh. and then accidentally got locked in. But we did find her. Ah, thank you. <laughs> That's good news. Now, um, you will be at the Tourism Expo this year. Yes. What can the expo goers expect to find at your store? Well, we'll definitely have a couple of consultants available so that we can ensure to do a couple of bookings for okay. you, mm -hmm. assist with Gondwana card applications. And then we'll also do a special feature on our most recent product launch, which we launched in May, called the GoTo Traveler Transfers. Okay, I definitely want a, 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 Gondo, a Gondwana card as well. I need to I need to come make a turn at your stand. It's a useful thing to have. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> now, what are you looking forward to the most? I'm really... At the, at the expo specifically, yes. I'm mm -hmm. really excited to just get to see everybody again. I mean, tourism has always been, especially the Tourism Expo, has been the social event mm -hmm. for the, the industry. And for the last few years, I know we had Expo in 2020, but it's always been complicated with COVID, with COVID understandably. And it's going to be nice to just see all the partners again, to engage with everybody again, Networking. engage with our consumers network, but also just get to know everybody again mm -hmm. a little bit after the distance that we've needed to apply for the so long. Definitely. Now tell us, what has been your highlight at Gondwana? Gosh, there's so many. Um, Gondwana is an awesome company to work for. So mm -hmm. highlights. 
We've had a couple, but in the this year, let's shorten the, the span a little bit, was definitely the launch of the GoTo. Okay. Um, we, as I said, launched in May, and it was just really exciting to get everybody together again. And we had a huge proper tourism party again, and it was fun, and it was good to see everybody, and it was good to just let loose a little bit in a casual mm -hmm. environment, but still have something to look forward to with regards to the products okay. and then launching back into high season. Not the way it used to be, but definitely on its way. Getting there. Getting there. there. Yeah, small progress is still progress these yes. days. Now, why, th why is it so important for the tourism industry to make use of this platform? Well, I mean, it's, as I said, networking. Mm -hmm. uh, we are still in a very tight-knit uh, country and community, so it's really awesome for us to be able to engage with one another and to collaborate. Ultimately, if we don't work together, the tourism industry will suffer, so it's important for us to work together, hold hands, and make a success of this. Definitely Namibia to the world. No, no doubt about it. Okay, that is our hashtag now. Namibia to, to the, the world. world. I like Definitely. it. I like well, thank it. you very much, Jess, for joining us in no. studio. It was a pleasure having this conversation with you. Tourismus Namibia is a weekly tourism show that brings you the latest news in the tourism industry and topics related to that. Tourismus aims at reaching travellers, accommodation, restaurant establishments, agricultural and financial institutions. The show focuses on tourism news, where to travel to fit your budget, 4x4 drives, routes and destinations and so much more. Tourismus is broadcasted on NTV, 102.com and CrossChat on the following Facebook platforms. There will be Kane, Algemeine Zeitung, Namibian Sun and Namibia Media Holdings. Contact tourismus at synergy.com.na for news and advertising related queries. Tourismus, bringing the world to Namibia. service is. So um, talking about the seaside, seaside is 14 years old now in Swakopmund. We are actually a seafront hotel, which is a very beautiful. We have 36 rooms that are all facing a uh, seafront, let's put it that way, and with a beautiful beach as well. All right, so what, what is our service into um, Seaside Hotel and Spa? So uh, Spa is already been accommodated, I hope that you know, so you are here already, that's from my colleagues, you know, and then I'm going to just tell you about, you know, the f &B side, which is, you not know, drink and food. We actually accommodating a la carte for individuals. You can come in, work in any time, uh, normal hours, you know, so we open from 12 to 9.30 p.m. And then we are talking about, you know, so individuals, we are actually event related to everybody, which is weddings, that's going to be baby showers, that's going to be, you know, conferencing, you know, so you can name it all, but that's what we are doing here. All right, so you being at the expo, we are welcoming you to, we want your place, you know, so to book for us, you know, book what? See that hotel and come and see the beach here. It's actually a very beautiful place also for a holiday, you know, so just to come and have fun with your friends because we have an open area, you know, so front of the beach, you know, so, and it's very close, very, very, very close. 
So please, you know, so book with us, and uh, we are going to tell you that, you know, so our food is the best in town for now. So if you miss this, then definitely, you know, so you miss the time with us. Right, so uh, let me say goodbye for now. So please, you know, so book us, you know, so our details are going to be on the bottom. So you can book with our reservation, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. The Regional Review brings you news, views, and interviews from NMH correspondents from across the country. The show is focused on residents of the respective regions we cover on any given day, but also to share with viewers across the country issues that affect other areas. The Regional Review is broadcasted on NTV, oneup2.com, and cross-shared on the following Facebook platforms, Namibian Sun, Republican, Algemeine Zeitung, Namibia Media Holdings. The Regional Review focuses on news, interviews, and weather. Contact Regional Review at synergy.com.na for news and advertising related queries. around 2007 2008 the original owners they have a farm in Namibia and their love for Namibia just started and then they decided to start with one of the first lodges Toshari Lodge which is close to Itosha and from there it, the love just grew and now it's a family run business with four properties and in, in the meanwhile, their kids have actually taken over, their daughter and son-in-law. And it's just been doing very well. So we've got four properties, uh, Olive Grove Guest House in Vintuk, Driftwood Guest House in Swakopmund, as well as Swakopmund Sands, and then Tushari Lodge. And that is Quiver & Co, a love for Namibia and tourism. I think, you know, since COVID, we've all been skeptical to try new things and what if it fails? What if, what if it happens again that we are back in lockdown and so on? And I think that our mind just changed into why not? Why, why wait? You know, when we were for two years, we were standing still and couldn't do anything. And then all these opportunities come up again where we can actually go out and meet new people and actually show the rest of Namibia our product that we actually launched in, in the second year of COVID. So we just decided that a lot of locals also supported us during COVID time, that it would be the best opportunity to actually get to meet everyone and show everyone our new company, which is Quiver & Co, and invite more people to see us and visit us. A lot of us don't have the chance to go overseas because it's obviously way too expensive. So the best way to then get to be a tourist is to see your own country. And I mean, like I said, they, locals have been supporting us to, throughout COVID time that now, you know, my kids even can tell their friends about Itosha and can tell their friends, wow, we've been to Sosos Flay. We, we never were able to do that because it was just way too expensive. So now with a lot of local companies giving local rates, it, it makes it so much better and everyone gets to see the country, our country. And that's why it's been so great for locals to visit us. Um, usually you just do reservations behind a computer and I get to meet overseas guests behind a desk. So actually being at the expo, meeting your, uh, the tour operators, meeting other people in the same industry, sharing ideas, finding out how, how can we you know, include everyone and just be productive in the middle. We can't just be on our own and decide, oh, we'll just do our own marketing, but you need everyone to pull together.
Awesome, I'm excited, are you? Cool, so make sure that you check out NMH's print and digital platforms to take part in the survey and win your $1,000 voucher. My name is Jochen Kutsia. That's been What's Next Tourism Expo 2022. We'll see you next time.